Magneto, but here's a guy when you look at him, you say it's got to be ragtime, or he's a bad lawyer. I don't know. <laughs> I'd much rather be a great ragtime player than a bad lawyer. So that's Mr. Bill Edwards. You're going to hear from him all weekend, and uh, he's great stuff. Good to see you, sir. Yes, indeed. How long been? Five weeks. Well, yeah, but but, uh, but over five over fifty thousand miles, so it's you know it's never the time. It's how far you go to get where you are. All right, here's a little tune that was written in 1903 by a guy named Joe Jordan. Now he uh, was actually special in many ways. He was a contemporary of Uvi Blake's. Many of his rags were very theatrical, and he also had the distinction connecting with the original Dixieland Jazz Band of suing them because they stole one of his themes from a rag called that Tease and Rag. Now he was a black ragtime composer. They were five very powerful white guys with a new band, with a new kind of music jazz, and he still won the case. So good on him. Good on him. Anyhow, back in 1903, he wrote a piece that really has as much vaudeville as it does ragtime in it. It's called Nappy Lee. So from 1903, Joe Jordan.